Are you a note taker? Why am I pointing at you? It's really rude. Are you a note taker? I know I am. Notes, sketches, getting my ideas out of my system, writing down feedback, notes for collaborators, cheat codes for video games. Uh, not really anymore. You 80s and 90s kids know what I'm talking about. And then these days, I actually take notes on my videos. And yeah, actually, like, on my videos. It's just a tool to, to, make, to make better videos. Or a tool that makes me better at making videos. Yeah, that's a, that's a sentence. So today I was thinking I'd show you how I do this. Because we're going to talk about annotations in DaVinci Resolve. Now, stay with me. I know annotations is a terribly boring word, but it's actually uh, really useful. And I think it's going to be a really useful tool for, uh, for some of you as well. So let's just jump straight into DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you where you can find this tool, how I use it, and um, how it can be useful for you in the future as well. So, to use annotations in DaVinci Resolve, you need to be in the edit page. Is this really the best angle for this? I don't think so. All right, we're back. So to use annotations in DaVinci Resolve, you need to be in the edit page, and you obviously need to have some uh, videos in your timeline. And then right down here at the bottom left of your uh, viewport window, you can click on this little drop-down menu, and this is where you'll find annotations. This uh, makes this little menu pop up right up here. Personally, I just want to use my tablet to uh, write and draw onto my video by hand. So I'll be using the stroke setting that is already uh, selected when this menu pops up. We can also create shapes like arrows and lines and square if that's something that you want to do. You can change the color of your annotations as well. I'm just going to go for uh, blue today since it's a very orange scene and the blue and the blue annotations are probably going to complement that nicely. Now, what I use this for, like I mentioned earlier, is to draw what I talk about in my YouTube videos. Uh, so maybe I'll talk about uh, the uh, shadows over here and how the light that is reflected on this uh, on this wall uh, really creates a nice uh, soft light uh, on our uh, model's face right here. But this is not just great for uh, creating informative YouTube videos. This is also great if you're collaborating with multiple editors. Maybe a colorist is going to take over your project. And you can just write down all your notes to your collaborators right on the video for them to see when they open up the project. And annotations are for the edit page only, so they don't export. So when you're outputting your video from DaVinci to a file, the annotations are not going to be in there. It's only for the editing process, for you and your collaborators. It's also really great if you're an editor that often works really closely with your clients. Maybe they are sitting next to you when you're showing them the video. You can actually take their notes straight into the video as well. As you can see down here, when I start drawing, it actually creates a new marker on the timeline. So you can be able to see exactly where you put your notes on the video. Uh, by default, it's only one frame long, but you can go in and change this if you wanted to by double clicking it and just change the duration of your marker. Let's say you want it for 10, 10 frames instead of, instead of one. And you can actually uh, label it as well. Uh, lighting uh, tips. <laughs> So now when you're hovering over it, you can actually see what that note is about. And one thing that might be good to keep in mind is that these annotations, they do not show up when you're playing the video. It's only when you pause the video and go to that point in the timeline where the marker is at that you can see the actual notes. If you want to draw or write on a video and you want it to be exported with the video, with the video itself, I think you have to do that in Fusion. I have never done that in DaVinci Resolve, so I cannot show you how. If you know how to do it, feel free to let me know in the comments how to. Because I'm sure there will be a point where I need to do that as well. All right, I think that's everything I had in mind for this little video. Um, yeah, I hope you'll find some use for 
annotations as well. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Happy?